You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV. We got a very special episode for you guys today. Today we got another pair of iconic, legendary shoes, the Jordan 1, but finally in this classic colorway, we got the Jordan 1 neutral gray, courtesy of my cousin Elias. These right here are classic. Can't wait to get into it. You already know what it is. It's Shoot Your Shot TV, Shoot Your Shot Records, the neutral gray Jordan 1. They're back. They're finally back. Let's get it. Hey! Thank you for joining us for this very special episode of Shoot Your Shot TV. I'm your host, Paul. We got C-Rock behind the lens. And we're joined by my cousin, Elias, right here, who brought us some goodies. He hit on the Jordan 1 neutral grays, which were very hard to get. And how'd you get so lucky, man? Yeah, so basically 7 a.m., you know, like a lot of you, I try, I try to hit uh, on sneakers, but, you know, didn't get them. Um, but I did enter a few raffles. I entered at Undefeated, uh, Bows and Arrows, uh, Dark Side, and uh, End Clothing. And um, I ended up checking my, you know, my email, you know, throughout the day. Didn't see anything, uh, but I ended up checking my spam account, and I realized that Bows and Arrows uh, sent me that, you know, that I hit the raffle and that I won. Um, so immediately I put in, you know, put in my info, and I bought them and picked them up that day. Crazy. That's crazy. I did the same exact thing. I entered a bunch of raffles. C kept sending me all the links to where I could sign up for the raffles. And I think I entered more than you. I probably entered like 10 or 11 different raffles. Don't know who I was even giving out my information to. It's crazy nowadays, the hoops you gotta jump through to sign up for shoes. They want you to follow their account, like the pics. Tag all 20 this, people. Tag 30 people in the comments below and you might have a chance to win a shoe. When he told me that he checked his spam folder, I immediately hung up with him and I checked my spam folder. But there was nothing in there except for spam, not even the good kind. Spam soupies. None of that, it was just straight sign up for our newsletter or check out all this other garbage. And I didn't get I didn't get the, the good email, but I'm happy for my cousin. I'm glad that he was able to get them because these were pretty limited, right? What was the rumor on the on the run? On the run, I heard was about twenty three thousand pairs. Twenty three thousand pairs, which isn't a lot considering that is that I don't know if that's just domestic or if that's global, but that's not a lot of pairs considering they do half a million for Jordan 11s every holiday, you know what I mean? This shoe right here, the reason why it is so iconic, if you didn't know, is just because this is the last colorway to be retro. This has never been retro before, and the last time this shoe was out was 36 years ago in 1985. And it probably, I don't know, I don't know if this was a popular colorway back then, you know what I mean? It was very plain compared to the reds and compared to the Chicago's, or the Royals, or the Black Toes. So I don't know how these did back in 1985, if these hit clearance and things like that. I do know that this is the last of the original colorways to be retroed, uh, other than the metallics. I think they haven't done the white and orange metallic yet. Hopefully they bless us with those in the near future. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. They finally brought them back and 36 years later, not even on like the 40th anniversary. You know what right. I mean? It does feel a little bit heavier than some of yeah, the Jordan ones. You were, you were saying saying that earlier. I didn't I didn't get it till now because now I have them in hand and it is a little bit heavier than like For sure. the Midnight Navies that we previously reviewed. It came with classic hang tag. I don't know if this is the actual true to size hang tag that the OGs came with. One discrepancy that I did notice was that it is suede, right? It's right. suede on the swoosh and suede yep. on the around the collars. Yep. And you have an embossed gray Air Jordan Wings logo that looks a little bit smaller compared to some of the Air Jordan Wings logos, but mm. I don't know. It just it looks printed different when it's printed on white. Definitely. Came with extra laces, right? Yeah, I yeah. got them. Yeah, gray laces. Uh, probably gonna rock the gray joints on them. What about oh, cream? If I wear them, not cream. We talked about that <laughs> earlier. We're not using the cream. But Damn, yeah, probably using the grays. Them. Yeah. So this is this is it, guys. This is what it looks like 36 years later. And I've never held, you know, an 85 pair from this colorway. I've had, I got the 85 breads. I had the 85 Chicago's courtesy of my good friend Fox Trot out in Singapore. So yeah, I, back to the suede, I, I hit him up and I, I asked him if the 85's had suede or was mm. it leather? Because when you're looking at old pictures from 1985, you can't really tell if it's just faded or distressed. And he told me that it was just uh, not leather and it wasn't suede, but it was just a, rough textured material on the Nike swoosh and that it was uh, painted gray on top here, but it wasn't suede. So it's crazy that they brought it back in suede. Not sure exactly how the other ones felt, but- I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's cool. it, it, it looks identical to what I've seen in the pictures. Yeah. Um, the toe box looks a little different. 
I feel like they were trying to go for 85 toe box just with the thickness of the leather mud guard yeah. on the front, but it just looks a little different to me. Another discrepancy is that in 1985, these weren't called neutral gray ones. A lot of Jordan 1 aficionados have done the homework, they've done the research, and they let me know on my other Instagram page, 85 Jordan 1, that these were indeed called the natural gray 85s, or just natural gray. I guess over time, it just, you know, word of mouth, oh yeah, the neutral grays, the natural grays. It's a very similar word. And I think Nike just went with it, neutral gray 85. Are you gonna rock them? Are you gonna stock them? Are you gonna flip them? What are you gonna? I think because I got them for retail and I was able to get them and not, not pay resale for them, I think I'm gonna rock them, you know? Yeah. yeah. Knowing the fact that I want them is pretty, pretty lucky, so I'm gonna keep them on feet, I think. I think even if you wear them, you can always resell them down the line if you yeah. ever, you know, you need money, whatever. You can, you can always resell these and make your money back at least, if not more. But it's a unicorn because a lot of people were chasing this one for a long time. My good friend Noel, he's always wanted this colorway because he told me it's the last one to, you know, never be retroed and now that's finally out. Uh, he might even spend resell on them, but he's not trying to pay over six. I don't see them retroing it again anytime soon because they just came out limited, 23,000 pairs. We're not gonna do our typical uh, review and you know rating system where we break down the shoe into three important categories. You, you guys already know. If you're familiar with the channel, you know over here at Shoe Shot TV, we love our Jordan 1s. It's a classic in our eyes, it can do no wrong. So 15 out of 15, classic colorway, yes, sir. classic shoe. And thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for bringing these on, Absolutely. letting us see them in hand. And they did come in a different red box, red box huh? Yeah. That's different. Yeah. They switched it nah, up. I don't hate it. Pretty cool. Thank you guys for joining us. Let us know how you feel about the 85 Jordan 1 neutral gray in the comments below. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Is this something that you're chasing? Is this something that you're after? How much are you willing to pay for this shoe right here? Yeah. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Again, my name is Paul. Host C Rock Behind the Lens, my good cousin Elias right here. My good cousin, my good friend, my cousin, my cousin Elias here joining us. And make sure you sub if you haven't already. Tons of episodes on the way. The album, okay, let's get it, streaming right now. And yeah, man. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.